For hours, penthouse suite with the glass doors in the shower. Your ex in the past, girl, he a coward. You ain't gotta tell. We ain't got to Just tell nobody. Ooh, no. Keep it on the low. I'm gonna put this on your body. No one has to know. We can go all night, all night. We can go all night, all night. Baby, they're jealous. Yo, what's happening? We back again, man. More party and bullshit. Ladies, y'all ready for the next guest? Yeah! yeah. Hey, man. Hey, no. this guy is no stranger to the cameraman. You have seen him around for years. He's been doing it ever since he was, this shit, I'm like, my thing, like three months old. <laughs> and he's coming to party bullshit right now. This ain't his first time. It's his second time on the show. New season. It's getting bigger and better. Y'all give it up for the one, the only, Mark, John, Jeff. Hey! Hello, uh, she's mad proper. Like, Hello, ma'am. How are you? You doing good? It's because she got the glasses on. You feel me? When you wear glasses, you got to be appropriate. That's right. Let's get right to it, okay, shall we? Go ahead, get right Jack. to it. Get right to it. All right, Mark. What's going on? What have you been up to? Uh, I've been working. You know, making moves, traveling, enjoying life, enjoying my youth. Just right as you should. Yeah, doing what I want to do. I just seen you went to Giza, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Tell yeah. me about that trip. That's dope. Yo, Egypt is lit. I'm not gonna lie though. It's Egypt. it's a little different. Like everybody think that Egyptian women are ultra bad. You know, everybody walking around crazy looking skin, long hair. It's not like that. <laughs> it, it's not like a oasis. Their hygiene is a little different. Right. You know, it's. A lot of places are dilapidated. Everything is dilapidated. There's no, like, garbage crew. It's garbage in the streets. Right. You got horses. People walking up to you begging. Like, it's a little crazy, but oh, wow. I'm a hood nigga, so I was good. You know, I'm like, <laughs> that don't phase me. I'm from New York, so I'm used to that. But it was a, it was different than what I expected, but it was lit. But what did you expect? Right. I, I mean, I expected, like, something out of Disney movie, you know? Like... Yeah. Or Latin or something. Right. 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 I mean, I'm gonna see palaces and castles and everybody look like a king and a queen. Like, I was like, dang, y'all niggas look worse than our homeless people back home. Wow. <laughs> it's a, it's different, bro. Right. People 20 years old, teeth crazy. Like, no. missing five, six teeth, brown, yellow, Damn. shoes, wow. feet look crazy. Like, it was, man, feet it, people right. don't, you know what it is? Like, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm about to go from ratchet to like, People don't realize how blessed we are. Yeah, you know, it's true, like true. we could walk outside. We got sidewalks. We got streets. We got sanitation. Things we take for granted. And we pee in water. Exactly. <laughs> we pee in water. Yeah. People look clean water. Yeah. We get it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's like so. Sometimes when you don't understand things beyond yourself, it's easy to look at your own situation and see all of the problems with it. But then when you see what other people are going through, it just makes you more aware to yeah. what life really is like to what this world really is you know and it's like egypt is not even considered a bad place that's the right. crazy part mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like egypt is considered to be lit mm -hmm. so it's just different man it's, it was it was a little mind opening mm -hmm. it was a, Definitely opened my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go back though. Shout out to Egypt. All, right. all, right. all my Egyptians that be on my DM. Trying to act like I'm related to y'all. You feel me? Like, Why would you go back? I, I will go back because I like culture. Mm -hmm. I like okay. to understand and experience. You know, mm -hmm. um, you can't judge a man before you have uh, at least have some kind of insight into the things that they go through. Mm -hmm. So for me, I like connecting with people's culture and with their experiences because it makes me a more rounded person it makes me mm -hmm. more aware of certain things and it also it makes it, it helps me to do my job better because mm -hmm. now i have more that i could go for more that i could pull from i understand different struggles and things like that so okay. I, I feel like it's necessary and then it's vacation okay. you know so it's like yeah. you was on a resort in uh, egypt nah i wasn't on a resort so you was living in one of the pyramids so <laughs> what i did is i flew out there i flew to i flew to cairo and um, I took my brother, my sister, my cousin, my aunt, uncle with me. Um, and we went to Cairo. And then we were in Cairo for two days. Then we flew to the other end of Egypt. The other um, west side. 
the <laughs> the other tip of the Nile. So like oh. Egypt is so ninety percent of Egypt is uninhabitable because it's all desert. That's Only ten percent is habitable. Wow. Right? So all of the co- all of the uh the cities and stuff are along the Nile River. Mm. So we flew from Cairo, which is one end of the Nile River, and then we flew to the other end, which was uh nah, it wasn't Giza. Giza was along what yeah, Giza Cairo. was near Cairo. It was uh Aswan. So we flew to Aswan, and then we took a cruise ship down the Nile back towards Cairo, and we stopped in a different area every day. So we was out there for like eight, nine days. It was lit. That's 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 fun. What was the food like, though? Because, you know, whenever I go over... Over, uh, overseas and stuff, uh, I'm always trying to <laughs> see how they doing it and whatnot. You know, yeah. so the McDonald's don't quite be the same. Nah, it was well, yeah. But I heard they eat like a whole <laughs> camel. So, like, did you eat a camel? Yo, dog, hell no. Oh, stop I mean, asking no, me. They I'm from the Bronx. We don't eat no camel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'll yeah, explore, but I'm not one of them actors that they get a little bread and they lose their mind and start eating rabbits and all that. Oh, nah, okay. I ain't no damn camel. Speaking of but, acting, mm-hmm. um... How did you get into the acting? Business? Hold on, hold on. Let's stay in Egypt um, real quick. I got a couple more oh, yeah, questions. All right. <laughs> yeah, well, let's, let's stay in the Egyptian region. You feel me? So, so honestly, um, the food out there was kind of fire. They they serve a lot of Lebanese food, so like grilled okay. stuff, okay. Um, okay. kofta, lamb chops. You know, yeah. grilled chicken. Um, they're not really big on on beef down there, but mm-hmm. um, definitely like a lot of lamb, a lot of chicken. You right. got the certain seafood and stuff like that. And stuff yeah, like that. falafels, pitas. You know, um, different kinds of rice. The food is pretty good, but I didn't do the whole McDonald's thing. They had like Pizza Hut down there. I didn't do the Pizza Hut. Mm-hmm. I, I, no when way. I go somewhere, I want to do something different. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. I want to eat. Pizza? Yeah, I want to eat different food. Too. But this was the crazy thing. So we went to the market. So our tour guide was like, "Don't go to the market. That's the place where all of the real Egyptians are. Like tourists don't go there." So. Me, I'm like, I want to go there. You want to go? I'm trying to say, you trying to get your wife. Yo, you feel me? Like, I want to, because I don't want to go somewhere and say that I didn't do something, yeah. that I want to have a different experience. Mm-hmm. I, if I've already seen people post in Egypt on Instagram, I don't want to see the stuff I, I don't want to do the stuff I've already seen. I want to create my own memories, I'm the you same know? Way. Yep. So I walked down the market, I bought some, shisha, I don't even smoke, but I bought shisha and all that. Hey. I bought some shisha pipes and for gifts and everything. We walking down, there's a butcher shop. And it's this big thing hanging upside down in the butcher. So I'm like, oh, snap. So what people don't know is I is cook. A I'm a crazy cook, right? <laughs> I cook OD. Oh, that's right. That's so I'm right. like, All right. oh, that's crazy. I should get some of that, take it home and chef it up. I'm thinking it's beef or something, some lamb. So I walk up to the guy. I'm like, yo, what is that? He was like, oh, it's camel. Didn't I say it? I was like, that's a camel. Y'all niggas eat that out here? Like, y'all supposed to ride those. Y'all eating them? And he was like, yeah, it's a delicacy. I'm like, that is not a delicacy. That's not a delicacy. A delicacy is lobster. You feel me? Like, filet mignon. Not no camel. Like, that's just messed up. But... It is. I feel bad for them camels. Yeah, man. They, they gotta, abuse them. They gotta too. ride the shit out of they them. They slaves, and then they get eaten at the end of the day. That's, oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's so But what about the cats? Like one thing I, I've always seen on Latin and mm-hmm. you know, and, and places that had Egypt is a lot of cats. Well, did you see a lot of cats there? Uh, I saw a few, but not too many. It wasn't Honestly, crazy. Nah, you see more. They probably there's a lot of horse carriages. Mm-hmm. Um, you see like camels when you go to certain areas. But not really a lot of cats. Cuba has a lot of cats. Cuba? In Cuba, cats run all over the place. Like, mm. you'll sit somewhere for 10 minutes, you'll probably see 15, 20 cats. God damn. Wow. Cats and dogs. Like, they just... Because they don't have them in the house. So all they do is oh, wander. Right. They just roam. Mm. And then when they... The tourist areas, it's like the animals are smart. So if you're at a restaurant or something, you got the cats coming up to you in the restaurant mm-hmm. trying to eat your scraps that you drop on the floor. Like, it's crazy. Mm. They hustle. It's crazy. Mm. Cats are strong. Everybody got to hustle. Everybody got That's amazing. Ladies. I got a question. Have you ever been to one of those private parties with them secret rooms and done some strange like things? Nah. Like hell no. Months? Nah. No? It's hot that's, that's too much. Like, <laughs> that's too much. People be bugging out, son. You got some sick people out there. Yeah. And I mean, if that's your preference, that's your preference. I'm not knocking it, but that's not for me. You don't got like a fetish? Like, oh, I like feet. Oh, I like toes. I like, I like lips. I like ears. I like women. I like, shoes. <laughs> I, like women. I like women. You feel me? So it, it depends on what I'm attracted to on you. Okay. Okay, cool. Simple as that. Yeah. All that, I like feet. You, bro, you got issues. If you walking around like, ooh, she so got nice toes. you have nice toes. Female? Um, Light skin, dark skin, no, fat no, ass, no. big boobs. Nah, Smart you know what? I'm going to say this, right? And um, for me, 
growing up, I always, I always had people catering to me, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's like, mm-hmm. when I was younger, I felt that was the norm of what people should do. But then I realized when people cater to you, they're not really themselves. That's not them, you know? They're, mm-hmm. they're changing things to appease you. They're changing things about you. They may be sacrificing things that they like or dislike because they're trying to fit the needs of what you want. And that's not real because at the end of the day, everybody has their limit. So now you with a chick, she giving you all of this, doing everything you want for a year, two years. And then when she's comfortable with you, she starts switching up. And then it's like, oh, who this? Well, that's your fault because you told her, I want this. I like this. I like that. I like this. And a lot of women out there just looking for something stable. You know what I'm saying? So it's like then two years in when she starts switching up, it's not that she's switching up. It's that she's now comfortable enough with you to show her. To show you who she really is, you but is know. It so safe to say, there's people send their representatives every single day, men and women alike. So mm-hmm. I don't think that's, that's just more so if catering to things. That's just an everyday life. Are you single right now? Yeah, I'm single. Mm-hmm. Um. So <laughs> all right. So this. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. Look, no. Nah. I'm asking you. No, nah, look. I'm single, right? I'm single. What I was about to do, what I was about, what I was, look, <laughs> what I was about to do, <laughs> I was about to piggyback on what I last said, all right? Um, so, so pretty much, my whole philosophy was that is that when we're younger, we always want to extrude what we want on other people, you know. But it's like you can't look for certain things in other people. You gotta have that in yourself. So for me, what I look for is a woman who's confident and comfortable with herself. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is you do, you could be, uh, uh, you could work finance, you could be in the industry, you could be a filmmaker, you could work at 7-Eleven, I don't care, you know? As long as you're doing what you want to do and you're happy with that, or you're working towards what you want to be and you're happy with that, that's cool with me because I'm happy with myself, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't need you, I'm choosing you. And I don't want you to need me, I want you to choose me. Mm-hmm. Because then... It's no stipulations when it comes yeah. to this. You feel me? Because now if I need, if you need me, then that, the moment that I'm not providing what you need out of me, there's a problem. Mm-hmm. If I need you, the moment that, I'm not, that you're not providing what I need out of you, then there's a problem. You sound like you had you know, this conversation so, last night. Like yeah. You nah. telling her, like, no, listen, you got me fucked up. Nah. <laughs> it's just, yo, I'm like a transformer. There's more to, there's, there's more to it than meets the eye. You know, it's just like... I'm experienced, so. So why are you single? Because I choose to be. Okay. I can't. I'm not in a position right now to give somebody what they deserve. Too much mm. pussy. What kind of, nah, what kind of it's not even that. I be chilling. Hmm. What kind of experience you talking about? Life experience. You feel me? Like I grew up around adults. Let's put it that way. So from a young age, I've looked at things differently. So there's a lot of phases that I never went through because. I learned from other people prior to... A lot of people have to go through things and learn it the hard way themselves. Yeah. You know, but I was young, I was mature, so it's a lot of things that I saw after the first or second time doing it, and I'm like, wait, that don't make sense. That's why this problem keeps happening. So let me change that. An idiot, only, uh, only an idiot makes the same mistake twice. Right. Right. So if you're going to make new mistakes, make new mistakes. But smart people, they look at what happened... And they evaluate where it came from, and then they try to move on from it. So you may make several mistakes, but don't let it be the same one. If your relationships keep ending because she's complaining about what you're not giving or vice versa, something got to give. You got to understand where that's coming from and make sure that it don't keep happening. Because then you're wasting time. And out of all commodities in life, between love, money, time, you can lose love, you regain that. Money, you lose money, you can make that back. You cannot get your time back. You feel me? And my time is valuable. I'm not trying to waste it putting it into a situation that I should know better. Can I piggyback you know, on so. something you said? Look, Jack, Jack, Jack going to write that down. He's going to say that next week on the show. Can I, I want to piggyback on something that you said, and I don't know if anybody else was listening, but I peeped it. So you said you grew up around adults, and mm-hmm. I realized that when you said you went on your trip, you went with your aunt, your uncle, and your cousins, mm-hmm. and I think brothers and sisters, mm-hmm. something like that. I realized that you didn't mention that you went with your mom or mm-hmm. anything like that. And, you know, being that you grew up around adults, I'm trying to find the correlation. Is d- Are you and her not on good terms? Or what nah. Was that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, me just, and I'm my... just like, is there a reason why? No, no, no. She so, tried to ball the Walters your ass. Yeah, she did. She tried to, she tried to Charlemagne me right now. Like, <laughs> yo, I thought this was PBS show, not Breakfast Club. I'm sorry. 
like, she like I don't. He I just the stuff that's not online, and I'm like, all right, well, look, he's talking about some. Yeah. Like, he mentioned it. He mentioned wow. stuff and not leaving out other wow. stuff. Wow. Wow. Me and my mama cool. I just, I it's the glasses. You. You me? That's you what it is. Who am I? Am I looking in the right? Which one is my? I'm sorry. Which one is my camera? Probably that one. It's this one. Left, yeah. yeah, it was good. Um, uh, 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 nah, my, my relationship with my mom is dope. My mom and my dad are the ones that gave me my stability. You know, like, my parents are still married. They've been married for 30 years now. Yeah, so, um, yeah, my dad is from, my, yeah, they black. Um, my, my dad is from Harlem, and my mom, my mom is from Manhattan, East New York. You know, yeah. um, so I got a lot of family in Brooklyn and the Bronx and in Manhattan. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to um, Brooklyn. But so my brother, sister, cousin, and I, we have this traveling pack. You know, oh, like okay. because when I was young, like growing up, I could never go anywhere because I was always shooting. So every time I would plan a vacation, I have to shoot. And the same thing happened with college. Like I kept trying to go. I got accepted to Fordham, Columbia. For um for theater and every time I would try to start I would book some movie so I could never go so now with traveling once we what like once they got an age I'm like yo we out let's go somewhere so then that was like three years ago so now every time we leave we go together but Egypt was a place that my aunt and uncle always okay. wanted to go okay. so when we said we going to Egypt they was like oh we coming okay. you know but um yeah. I got a question. It's a little more serious. And the only reason why I'm asking is because, you know, you hear these uh, these little uh, stigmas of the, the industry, Hollywood mm -hmm. in particular, and, and, you know, these Me Too moments and things. Have you ever had a situation where, you know, you were going for a role and it was uh, people who tried to put you in a compromising position to get that role? Nah, they know better. That's good. Oh, no, that's I know that's they like know better. Well. No. I feel like you definitely from hood. But you got to explain that because right. how, how do you keep yourself out of it? Explain right. them how, how it works. A lot of people want hand me outs. Mm -hmm. You know, like they want they want the role to be given to them. I've never struggled in my life, but I come from a family of struggle. Mm -hmm. I don't want anybody giving me anything. Mm -hmm. Because anything that somebody gives you, it's theirs. They could take that back. You didn't earn it. You know, it's not yours. That's that doesn't belong to you. If you give me something and now I went and I, I made a movie and I got paid off of it then I'm waiting for the next person to give me something else. Mm -hmm. But now if I go and I earn that, then that knowledge is mine. So once yeah. I'm done with this, I could go and earn something else. You know, so it's like certain people are known for being those cliquish relationship. That's they build relationships and friendships and that's how they work. Mm -hmm. Those kind of actors, you know, so it's like for them type of people, that's the kind of people that get that stuff coming left field. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like, all right, well, what you willing to do for my help? Right. I don't need your help. My mm -hmm. my family got me, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, my God got me. I don't need I a producer or a director. Yeah. And and I say that in the sense of, I'm not asking you for anything. You gonna watch, you gonna hire me because you need me. And yeah. if you don't feel you need me, then it's not meant to be. Right. You know. And I'm fine with that. Let's move on. There's other things that we each could be doing with our time. Mm -hmm. I'm not chasing relationships. I'm chasing. Where I want to be in 10, 20, 15, Longevity. 15, 20 yeah. years. And where, yeah. where is that? Um, still working. That's it. You know, still working. I still want to be doing relevant work. As far as I feel like if I say what I want to be like, then that's comparing myself to others, and I don't like to do that. And I also feel like that's putting a peak on where I see my, you know, the height of my career. Mm -hmm. I feel like no individual has a peak. It's all about... Mm -hmm what you continue to work for and what you strive for. Because if I want to say I want to be like Denzel, the moment I get close to that, I feel like I'm successful. Mm -hmm. And one thing that a lot of people do once they gain success is they stop doing the things that they did to get there. True. Mm -hmm. right. You know, I so... Have a no, Pete. What advice could you give younger actors that go into audition rooms for them to be able to nail those roles? Being um, you've been in a lot of, you know, amazing movies, what could you tell the young actors? Like, this is what you got to do when you walk into the audition. You got to be original. You got you to bring you to the character. Like, you can't emulate other actors. You can't try to be Denzel. You're not Denzel. You can't try to be Viola or Taraji or Michael B. You can't do that because they're, they're already out there, you know? So it's like, yeah, I ever walked into 
Walmart or something, and you see all of the bootleg cereals. They got Frosted Flakes, but then they got fr Frosted O's and, yeah. and <laughs> Corn Flakes and all this other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, if one of those bootleg companies was to go out of business, mm -hmm. nobody would know. Nobody would care. They'd yeah. be like, oh, okay. But now let Frosted Flakes go out of business. Everybody knows, because they, they're original. Right. You know, yeah. they were the ones that was put out and they had copies. And then this is the thing. Who truthfully buys the bootleg versions? Either people that can't afford the real deal, or people that don't know no better. Mm. And I'm the kind of person, if you can't afford me, and I don't see the value in your project, I don't need to be working with you. Right. And if you don't know any better, then you're not a filmmaker. Right. So why am I wasting my time? You know? So it's like, it. you got to walk in there and you got to be original. You got to understand that you have the value. Yep. They need actors. You know what I'm saying? Like, a movie can't be made without actors. Yeah, so every time that a person walks into that room, that means that you have something that they could be looking for. Mm -hmm. And if you're copying other people, you're injusticing yourself. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know, so. Yeah. So are you That's saying that you don't have an ideal goal, like an ideal dream role or job? Like, because for me, you know, I don't think that you limit yourself on things that you're projecting towards. I do believe that um, if it's something that you maybe you might have dreamed of doing and thought you could never a attain it. Like, mm -hmm. are you saying that you don't? You don't think like that? Are you saying Nah, that not at all. That's not what I'm saying. Something that you're like pushing for, like, you know, right uh, now? Okay, I'm gonna put it this way, right? Uh, <laughs> I know things that I wanna do, mm -hmm. right? But I feel like those things are more so steps along the way. It's not the overall goal, it's not the overall plan. It's just like, okay, I would love to do a Marvel movie, mm -hmm. you know? But sometimes people get caught up so much in what they wanna do that there's other things that they could be doing. And since they're so focused on this, they're not able to see the everything else that's mm -hmm. being yeah, presented to them. Right. You know, yeah. so it's like, um, yeah, I would love to do a Marvel movie. I want to play a psychotic killer. You know, but I could, um, I could, I could, I that's disrespectful. No, we not. How y'all gonna say I could see that? Y'all heard that? They just said that they could see me playing a killer. Like what? That's crazy. You have a very strong personality right. and character. That type of character is just like, I know what I want. I'm coming for it, and not you don't give it to me whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. And in that sense, sense and in that sense, you know, as a villain, I could see you on some, ha ha, I want that super villain. I didn't say hero yet. Look, Jack, you got politicians on your show. They they know what to say at the right time. Like, the way she just slipped that, I'm like, not, not 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 say that shit. Yeah. That makes sense, you know. That, like, okay. I had a question. I had a question. Can dive into a, a character. Yeah, yeah. How old are you? That ain't Jedi. Huh? We can see it. Twenty-eight. You're twenty-eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me ask you something, and I hope you don't get offended. Oh shit, he's already offended. It's hard to offend me. I, it's no, very no. All right, boom. Right. I have to ask you this, but so being that you're twenty-eight and mm -hmm. you are about five three, five four, mm -hmm. whatever the case may be, do you feel like that sometimes you have to be strong in your character so people don't try to play you and treat you like you're a kid or anything like that? Just because no. of your height, you know, does, do people come at you differently because of your height differences at first that you have to check them real quick? Like, no, oh, I'm a I'm, grown ass man. You, I mean, you know I, this, I mean, this is my thing, right? Mm -hmm. Um, people gonna be people. Right. So there's always going to be that person or those people that may say something slick or try to do something slick. Your ignorance don't affect me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the moment that I let your ignorance affect me, I'm ignorant now. Right. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't have that complex of like where I have to make up for things in other ways. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm five three, five four. You feel me? <laughs> like. <laughs> If you want to step to me, crazy, if you tall and you want to feel tall, okay, bro, you tall. I'm short. Like, what What? I, what I got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, big man. But when we get on set, though, <laughs> you feel me? Like, you feel me? You feel me? When we get on set, though, when we get on that basketball court, you're going to be like, oh, this little nigga, yo, you got it. I'm going to be like, yeah, tall man, you know? Boom. Speaking of the basketball court, is mm -hmm. there any talents or hidden talents or things you like to do that's off camera? You mentioned cooking. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you're a great cook. What else do you yeah. like to do? I um, need to see that, though. I, I play. I play. She's trying to get a All meal. Right, you hear that? that? <laughs> She's trying to get a free meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's going to be tight when I make her a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I like those. Um, I like peanut butter and jelly. I do, too, but that's not oh, cooking, good. you know? I'm right, crusty I'm sorry. Go ahead. No um, uh, 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 I play basketball. Yeah. I am... I play basketball a lot. Like, that's my thing. Mm -hmm. um, 
uh, uh, I do jujitsu. Well, I haven't I haven't trained in a while because I had some, you know, life. Stuff, but smart. did jujitsu. That's cool. Um, I have an acting school. I own some businesses. Uh, I'm into fashion. I like fashion. Mm-hmm. Uh, what does that mean when you say you're into fashion? I don't understand. You like? Did you did you touch your shirt? I'm done right now. Anything? If you invite me to something fashion, like I'm interested in that. You know, I've. I've entertained the ideas of starting clothing companies, okay. not my own brand, mm-hmm. but just being involved with like clothing companies. Okay. Um, I'm actually wearing a brand now that I'm collabing with, Published Brand. They're a brand that's in like Urban Shout Outfitters and stuff. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then my boy owns a brand, Defend Brooklyn, DFBK. Mm-hmm. Um, and Spike is a big uh, advocate for that brand. So I- I'm in a lot of different things, you know? But I'm, a, I'm kind of a very sporadic person when it comes to like, you may say something, and I'm like, oh, that sounds interesting. Mm-hmm. And I'll go and try to do it. I love to fish. Oh, That's yeah. the countryside oh, of my family. Fish. I love fishing. Fly fishing or nah, not, fishing. I, not really fly fishing. fishing. Nah, see... That's that yeah. Mermaid Man and Barnacle right. Boy stuff. She said spear fishing. Like, they got fishing rods now. You know what she's talking about? Spears. That's different. Um, nah, I like traditional fishing. You know, freshwater, saltwater... I go for stripers, for bluefish, for porgies, flounders. Um, I want to go salmon or tuna fishing pretty soon. I haven't done that. Um, do a lot of trout fishing sometimes up in my house in PA. Go for nice. big mouth bass. Nice. Uh, I'm like, cut it and cut it. Nah, I don't do the cleaning part because it's nasty. Like, <laughs> it's nasty. Yeah, I, I don't want to see an animal get slaughtered. You know, once I put them in the bucket, the next time I see them is when I they already filleted. And I'm ready to cook it. Oh, you know, yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. see that in between process. That's uh, I'll be vegan if yeah, I had to do that. Do. Yeah, oh, you know, yeah, like be like, yo, hook that up. Right. Huh? So hey, hey. So you did bring about your acting academy, right? Mm-hmm. How was that going? It's cool. Do you see yourself branching that out? Have you ever had someone come into the class and was like, not really that good? Like, what did, what would you give advice? Like, what advice would you give to them? How is that going? Um, the academy is going good now. I, I've been uh, running it for, what, five years now. I have three students. I have two students that's currently on power. Okay. Um, yeah. One has been on for three seasons now as a reoccurring character, or as a series regular, my fault. Um, one is on as a reoccurring. I had three others that did between one and three episodes. Um, I have two students on Orange is the New Black with speaking roles. I had one in Uncle Drew the movie. Um, one was is a recurring character on Grownish. Um, Lead the weapon, yeah, yeah. in New York. Uh huh. How much is this? Five, arm, leg, foot, and toe. Like, that's cool. huh? How much is this? Because I need to line up my checkers and savings. All right. I could afford. <laughs> <laughs> on the website, it says reasonable prices. It's so. very reasonable. Yeah. All right. All right. So, so look, I'm a. Nah, 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 nah. Chill, 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 chill. Anybody that jacks at me, they get the hookup. You know. You know, anybody that jacks at me, they get the hookup. Open in other places, other Um, I do, but I'm very hands on, and and I feel like my 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 philosophy of acting is more so my experience as well as technique. So there's techniques, but then based on understanding what the industry really is and what's really being asked of you, I feel like your experience your experience teaches you how to use certain techniques the appropriate way. You know, so with that being said, it's been difficult to really expand because a lot of people are not working actors. Okay. So I don't want to hire somebody. This is my thing. I'd rather not open up other places than have to hire somebody that can't teach the appropriate way. And I'm injustice in these people that's wasting their time coming to my academy okay. in other places. I can that. You know, yeah. so it's like, yeah. um, yeah, it's been open for five years now. It's very affordable, actually. So. I got a, when I applied to Columbia and Fordham and all this other stuff for theater, I was told by a professor at Fordham, why would you come to the school for theater when you're doing what our students are trying to do? It doesn't make sense. I didn't so, I was going to ask you that. I don't get it. Yeah. So um, I reapplied to, to uh, I reapplied to, I was about to say something based on what you said, but I'm going to say that for later. Um, I reapplied for early child education. Okay. 
and I was accepted. My mom was an educator. She's been a teacher for 29 years now. And um, shout out to mom. Yeah, shout out mom. Big Um, (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. So, uh, so after that, I feel like I just had a yearn for seeing what other talents I had. Okay. And um, I was told by my family, why don't you? You know, look in the other areas that you could teach in since your schedule doesn't allow you to actually go to school for teaching. Mm-hmm. And um, then after talking to my parents, after my agent recommended it, like, won't you teach acting? So there was a very reputable school that wanted me to come on board and do training for them. Mm-hmm. And I was down for it at first, but then I looked up the prices and I'm like, damn, $1,000, $1,500 for a four-week program? Like, there's a lot of people out there. Yeah. That may have the talent, that may have the drive, the determination, but fifteen hundred a month is just out of the question. Yeah. You know, and then it was like, should your talent go to waste because you don't have enough money? You know, so, um, so instead of, <laughs> word, um, so instead of choosing to work for that that school, I was like, yo, I'm gonna start my own joint and I'm gonna make it affordable so that way. People that may not have the means, but have the desire or the talent or the determination, they're able to pursue it. Okay. You know, so that's why I started the school. So, um, my prices. <laughs> so the average, for, yeah. Now I earn her respect yeah, after yeah, all yeah. of that. I said, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. when when I say it's cheap, she like, oh, I respect you. you. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, reasoning as to why it is inexpensive is what makes me respect you. Sir. You're a politician. Stop it, Joe Budden. I'm not listening to that. Stop it. Yeah, she. It's them glasses. I bet you she take them glasses off. So what I was saying was, you feel me? Like. <laughs> up right you now. Mean, look, put them back on, and now her voice gets all proper right there. Right? Um, Martha, I want yeah. to ask you a question. My name is Jay Dillon, by the way. Nice Woo! to meet you. Um, you mentioned about going to school in Columbia. What about actually teaching at Columbia? Would you entertain that or anything? Um, like that? Have I, they I asked would. You they never you asked me. No, no, they never asked me. No, the only uh, highly recognized college, or I guess I'm using the appropriate vernacular. Um, schooling that has ever asked me to come in and work with them in any capacity was NYU. Nice. Um, it's not a yeah, but but it wasn't in a. It, 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 see, y'all hype. I like that, but it wasn't in that way. It was more so like, uh, like a helper or something like that. You know? Yeah. And, and, and this is the thing. Helper. I'm a I am a prideful person, but I have no ego. You know, so I would definitely have been willing to do that, but it was just the timing of it all. It didn't, it didn't work out. And then once I had the time to possibly entertain it, the opportunity had passed. I got a you question. Know, so. mm-hmm. All right. It's What's personal. Good? All right. Boxer mm. briefs or boxers? Yeah. Boxer briefs. Right. Yeah, boxer briefs. <laughs> yeah. First of all, boxes look dirty. Let me tell y'all something. This is all of the dudes. When you walk down and your pants are sagging and your drawers are baggy in baggy in your undershirt, that's a dub, bro. Yo, you feel me? Like you gotta, that gotta, it gotta hold it down. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I hate that little slit. And then they start putting the little button on the front of them. Yo, and if you under forty, briefs is not an option, bro. Right. I'm tired of seeing y'all in the gym tidy, tidy. wearing these tidy whiteies coming out the shower. That's nasty. Bro. All right, that's nasty. That's for little kids and old men. Fashion. That's like a diaper with no padding, dog. Right. Now, um, I have a question, though. So we just mentioned the gym. Mm-hmm. So you're like an avid health nut, or do you just go just because you got the doctor? Um, right, let me see. She, the she fake came for me yeah. real quick. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I got a little, I got a little something, you know. I, I got a little something, you know. <laughs> okay, I feel you, I feel you. I, I got you, damn, I got you. Um, she curious. Uh, <laughs> nah, but so I'm healthy, but I'm fat at the same time. So I'm the type of dude. I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna wild out in the gym three, four times a week. 
but I'm eating my burgers, I'm eating my wings. I just killed that pizza over there. <laughs> R.I.P. to that slice. <laughs> you feel me? Like, y'all said 20 seconds, that nigga was gone. Like, two gulps. Um, so I, I'm more so, when I, when I have a role coming up, if I have to get in shape for it, I'll go a little bit harder, but I'm always in the gym in some capacity, but I'm not that like, but you ain't changed, eating all like, of this crazy. green and all of that. Yeah, I'm not. Like I like food, you, still you know. Look so the same. Like, you ain't get, yeah. Like, real fat or real nah, 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 nah. That's not in my DNA. You know, yeah, my, my fam. It don't run in my family. Yeah. So, Facts. Now I'm gonna throw you on the spot right now. Let's do it. Oh shit! What's your top five favorite roles that you've done? Um, in order, or if you have a favorite. I don't really watch my work, so I can't say. What? Why? Yeah. I don't understand it I like that. No, I like that. No, I'm listening to my music. All right. All right. No, for real. So, so I'm gonna say this, right? Sometimes when I'm talking to other people, uh, I've never been branded as cocky. That's never been a thing. What? Yeah. <laughs> I've never been branded as Nobody's ever been like, oh, he's a cocky dude. Everybody like, oh, he's mad chill. He's cool. But then there's sometimes when like I may be talking to somebody and I talk myself up. Like if I feel like you giving me that energy is where you sizing me up, nigga, I'm not fooled. Right. Um, what you looking at what me like doing? that for? Like what's that about? That's, I'm the wrong one for that, you know? So in those moments where I talk myself up, people may have things to say. But I tell people this, right? I can talk myself up mm -hmm. because I tear myself down every single moment I get. Mm -hmm. I am my own worst critic. Yeah. I'm never the type of person to do something and feel like, oh, I did that. You know, like, mm -hmm. that's not me. I'm the kind of person, when I watch my work, regardless of how good other people say it is, I look for all of the things that I don't like about it. Because I'm trying to be better. And every moment, I'm trying to be better. So in those moments where I do talk myself up, it's just because I'm rebounding from tearing myself down. Yeah, you know, so it's like, like I need some yeah. ID, I don't believe you, I'm 28. How are you? Like, you like 35. Experience, you know? Experience. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Other than life experience? You know? Experience. Huh? Other than life experience? Some experiences you got going on. Sips. <laughs> 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 this ain't tea, but I'm sipping my plush. You feel me? This conversation is about to go sideways. And sometimes I like sideways. So, Mark John, do you like sideways? Like what sideways? I mean, sideways. Is, I mean, like sideways is a direction. That's what I'm saying. Like you know, 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 like Yes, honey. Oh, wait, I, I'm, I, I eat pizza. <laughs> That's another word. I plead, word. The, I plead the fifth. Plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. Yeah, I asked the question and they couldn't answer. I, I plead hey. the fifth. You plead I, the fifth? I ain't DJ Khaled, though. Oh. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to you. Hold up, hold up. Y'all about to. That's not a sub. Shout out to you, Khaled. You still my man. You feel me? But. I don't cop out a question, so I had to find a way. Like so wherever your mind goes is where your mind goes. You feel me? But I'm not. I'm. You know. That's open ended. That's go to the gutter. Go to the gutter. Yep. What you got coming out? What should we look for? Dang. You just did a project, right? Oh, uh, so okay. So I have what three or four movies that's already shot that will be releasing next year. Um. I shot two so far this year, three so far this year, and I'm working on another two now, and I have another three lined up. Oh, so, all features? Yeah, all feature films. Okay. Yeah, all feature films. So, they'll be in theaters. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh, what's the name of your um, school, though? No, nah, it's work. Totally... Yeah, I don't even get this. Um, the MJJ, MJJ Acting Academy. I just want to get this. Uh, all right. All right. Babe, babe, babe. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies, y'all got anything else for Mark, man? No, no, no. I'm a jokester because I had he a joke. He gave me good stuff today. <laughs> <laughs> he made no, no, me no. I still think he lied and he's single, though. You saw that face? Yeah, that I think he kind of lied. Speaking nah. of, real quick, let me tell you about the time I met Mark John earlier this year. Or oh, am I spilling the tea? Somebody going to get mad. Right? Ooh. So I met Mark Ooh. John in the, in the tra on the train station, New York, um, Newark, Penn Station. And I'm looking at him. I'm like, yo. 
that guy right there, he look like Mark Jaw. My homeboy like, that ain't him. He's stupid. And I'm like, no, look at the little mustache, my nigga, that's him. He's like, he's like, no, it's not. I go to his page. I'm like, my nigga, that's the same guy. I'ma go say hi. He go, you gonna embarrass yourself? I'm like, I might, cause I look like shit. I'm on my way to go build a daycare and shit. So I was really looking my hard hat and all that. And I pull She up looked a him. little crazy. I, I was about to hit her. I got the Ooh. Ooh. I, 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 I thought she was a nigga on the low. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, I'm nah, playing. I thought she was one of them little dudes that kind of look like a girl. I'm not even mad because I work hard and I have my hard hat and I'm brawling. So it is what it is. Anyway, so I pulled up on him. I'm like, I'm sorry. Are you, are you Mark John? He's like, yeah, how you doing? He was real humble, real nice. He let me take a picture with him. I'm like, what you doing here? He's I remember like, that. You know, I'm just waiting for my girl. She's taking a little minute to pick me up. Ah, ah, ah. I'm like, oh, oh, well, she, well, listen, she didn't pass the interview process. Look, look, so look, look. Said, let hey. me tell you, she single. did not make it for but the summer. But this is what it is, right? That was in June. Nah, <laughs> I realized what it was. I said my homegirl, because that day is uh -huh. the day that I was going to Philadelphia. Because I, I do classes in Philadelphia sometime. Mm -hmm. And one of my, like, oh, so it was a girl. It was assistants girl. slash students. Uh -huh. You know how people say, I'm waiting for my boy? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm waiting oh, for my okay. homegirl. So, right, right. you feel me? So, like. I'm about to say, because she ain't passed the interview. Yeah. Like, what's that no, no. I mean, like, I said homegirl, though. You know, but she could have, whatever. Whatever. He didn't. Can we get like a dating show for Mark John? I'm single. You said your homegirl. Mark John for love. Huh? That's the new love. Mark John for love. Nah. For the love of Mark. Nah. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Looking uh -uh. for John. Listen in. <laughs> yeah, nah. Fishing for John. Fishing for John. That's OD. Right. Hey, Mark John. Yo. Is there anything you want to say to the party and bullshit before we get at you? Woo! Um. You got some gems already. Yeah, you sure did. I'm here for it. Oh, then me too. <laughs> <laughs> like, when they do a recollection? We met now. I'm going to just say this. My second time on the show. Nice. Um, I've known Jack for what, like five, six years now? Yeah, it's been like that, yeah. Yeah, I've known Jack for about five or six years now. I love the show, man. I'm always down to come back. I hope y'all enjoy the episode. Yes. Make sure wherever it's posted, comments. Y'all got to fill it up with the comments. Show love. Um, this is Mark John Jeffries. I was on PBS, and that's it. I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. And party, and bullshit, and party, and bullshit, and party, and bullshit, and That's a wrap, y'all. Let's take some pictures. Can we get a photo just like... Juice.